An amazing case. So I, when I first moved to Columbus, I lived in the Sunset View apartment buildings out on the west side, okay, near what was an old GM plant. Now it's a casino. And there was a murder out there. I'm not sure it w- was in the same apartments that I lived in, but it was 32 years ago that this guy, Bruce Daniels, uh, is charged with killing a, a, I think she was 20 years old, a young lady named Amy Hooper uh, on March the 9th, 1992. Mm -hmm. So we're coming up on the 32nd or 33rd anniversary of, of that murder. And it was in Lincoln village in Franklin Mm -hmm. County. They found a connection to this guy, Bruce Daniels uh, through DNA. And I, I I don't know if it was, you know, 32 and me or whatever they call that thing. Or, you know, I don't know how, but somehow the Franklin County detectives connected his DNA to DNA. You know, 1992, we didn't have DNA testing. Yeah. So yeah. they they still had in the cold case files the samples of his DNA, the murderer's DNA, or the suspected murderer. Uh, he's not convicted yet, but they... They had the samples. They ran the samples. They matched up to this guy living in Washington State. So they extradited him to Franklin County. We got him on Wednesday. When I say we, the police Mm -hmm. uh, charged him. And uh, it's an amazing story. Wow. Uh, How old is this guy now? Probably in his 70s? Well, 32 years ago, I think he's in his 50s. 50s, okay. Depending on when he allegedly committed the crime. But he's like, wow. Yeah. Wow. So anyway. um, You get to that point, you probably. I saw a picture of him. He looks like the Unabomber. Oh God! Okay. Jeez, I'm <laughs> yeah, great to have him back. But yeah, anyway, but, yeah, but but no, that that that's just amazing at these 30, 40 year old cases. Yeah, just is somebody working them all the time? You know what I mean? I think maybe the police are using just, a- AI and stuff. Uh, maybe like, like they've got these DNA samples, and I think. AI is going out there and trying mm-hmm. to find, you just know, to, because they have enough on their plate right now for current. Of it, course. It's just interesting. It is. How I have to talk to well, well, Steve. We'll have to talk to Steve about that, how they handle these. I don't want to call them I cold think, cases, but just, maybe it is a cold, it is case. cold case. You know, that just how does it pop up? All I of have sudden? the same question, Brett. And I think when they, you know, unless this guy pleads guilty, right? If they try this guy, how that DNA got connected to him, mm-hmm. we're going to find him. Yeah, I'd love to. 